fucking with a G H G C 107 ball and your name Melvin. What's up, y'all? Uh, Pelicans Blazers are on, but I'll talk about that later. Um, just came back from watching the photograph, and I thought that it was a very good movie. I will give it, if we going out of 10, I'll probably end up giving it like a, a solid eight, a solid eight out of 10. And the reason that I'm giving it an, an eight out of 10 is because uh, I liked it overall. Um, I won't say that I absolutely loved it. I wouldn't say that I absolutely adored it. Y'all know me to be, I'm a lot more of a, a superhero genre action movie guy, but I do like my rom-coms. And this had some like funny moments. But this is a lot more of just a straight up romantic type of movie. And I understood where they were coming from in terms of wanting to create a Love Jones of today type of vibe. I do think that there are some other movies on different streaming platforms um, that could compete for that as well. But um, I thought that the movie was cool. A couple things um, about it. I loved the relationship between Issa's mom in the movie um, and the uh, actor that that was her original love interest. Um, I thought that that was amazing. Uh, I thought that uh, Lil Rel and his wife's chemistry were amazing. I thought that Lakeith and Issa's chemistry was okay. I kept wanting to laugh a couple times because I thought, I, I just see them in so much stuff that I'm like, y'all don't, I don't know about y'all two together, man. I don't know. But um, I thought that was cool. I also thought that it was kind of like a nice little sub sub story with uh, both of their friends um, ending up being together, especially after how shook he was early on when he was trying to explain to her, yeah, uh, I'm just a, I'm just an intern, but not for long. Uh, how old are you? 20, 20, 24, I'll be 25 soon. And how old are you? You and she said something like you don't need to know that or something, something like that or whatever. But um, I thought the movie was cool overall, man. Dope story, dope way for them to fall in love. And then the ending piece. Oh man, listen, the part when uh when Lakeith um had not seen uh her in some time and then saw her and kind of like choked up, almost got me too because I was like, bro. I can see that you are really into this moment and you sold me on this guy that you're playing. I'm 100%, 100% here for it. I thought it was good. All right, now that I'm done with non-spoiler part, now we can get to the spoiler parts, man. Um, I truly wanted to see more of um, Issa's mother and her, Issa's actual father, um, their relationship um, from the standpoint of what it was like you know that last conversation that they had right before she got on the bus? Like, I truly wish there was another moment like that where they could have talked. Because um, that would have been more informative for me just to kind of get... I just wanted a little bit more of them together. Because their chemistry on screen just jumped out to me immediately. Um, additionally, I do feel as if her mom could have had more parts uh, while she was in New York. We, we didn't get as much of her mom in New York as what I would have wanted. The one thing that I remember saying that I wanted to see more of was when she was pregnant with Issa and um, met the man who Issa believed to be her father throughout her entire life, right? I wanted to see that dynamic because that would have showed to me how difficult it was for Issa's mother to really be able to trust and love someone else, especially with her being in New York. She's on her own. She got to care for this for this child that's coming out of her. She's still got to work. She's trying to afford this amazing apartment that she had at the time. Um, I really would have loved to have seen more of that or just seen a little bit of her mom older and on her own now in New York. Because if you look at it, the way in which she kind of pushed Issa away is the same way in which her mom was doing her in a sense not the not the exact same way but the sentiment nonetheless was the same because she really couldn't love um as much as what she wanted to um I would have loved to have seen that uh I did think that I wish that we would have had timelines in this to see how quickly or how far everything was from each other because it felt like all of this happened within too short of a time span. I did pick up when Lakeith said that he got the job in London, that it was some weeks before he had to move, but knowing the time difference would have been better for me because it all felt very short. 
Um, I even heard people being like, yo, it felt like this happened. Like me, me and my girlfriend went and to her, she said it felt like uh, this happened. This could have been over a matter of days or so. Like granted the lines, like Lakeith's, like Lakeith's line made me think otherwise, but I wish they could have been a bit more audible about that because that would have helped out um, a ton as well. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Man, it was just tough for me at times to get into the Lakeith, Issa um, relationship dynamic only because I... I know them both from seeing them in other projects and how they are. So me just being like, ah, this is kind of awkward. Like y'all don't, y'all don't really rock with each other like this type of thing. You know, it's almost like when you, when you know so much about somebody from seeing them so many times that you're like, man, I don't, know, I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. But I still liked it enough. And like I said, like I told y'all before, um, seeing them pop back up in London together showed me on it to be like, okay, this is this is a real thing now. And then even when they were going back and forth while in New Orleans, when she was like, we should move here or at least come back a couple times. It's like, okay, all right, now I'm starting to believe really this dynamic that y'all have going on. Because for it took me a minute to be able to get there, but I did enjoy them, the courting stage of them and them still trying to poke and prod to feel each other out. That felt real. That felt supernatural to me, uh, most definitely. Uh, the older, the gentleman that played Issa's actual father later on in life, I thought was dope. I did want to see more of him interacting with his wife and having that feeling of maybe like just looking off into the distance or looking off with his family and just having those thoughts of like, man, I wonder what um, Issa's mom and her are both up to. But I respected the fact that he did not speak more because it shows much more that he is a man of only so many words. Um, and that really highlights his character. But I will say, the same moments that Issa had with Courtney B. Vance, who she believed was her father but was not actually her father, um, I wish that her and her actual father would have had those moments. However, I understand that from her entire life thinking that this one man was her father, of course she's naturally going to have the openings up and being able to have and talk to her father, quote unquote, this way. I just wish that over that time span when Lakeith was going back to New Orleans to finish up the story, we could have seen again how long of a time that was because if Issa's been down there for a weekend or been down there for a couple days or so, it would have led me to believe that the dynamic between them two opened up even more so that she could be more vulnerable with her actual father and seek the advice that he was looking to impart onto her. Um, after that, man, I thought it was dope. I thought that Kendrick Lamar concert thing was, oh, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I was like, that was a great, wonderful tie-in. I love that so much. Um, but I was disappointed in myself because there were too many points in time where I was like, oh, okay, like, is something crazy going to happen? Oh, the little girl's going to say something wild. Or is, uh, 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 are they going to run into the ex-girlfriend when they go up to, they was at the same spot that Issa's parents was at. I did peep that. Um, but I was like, are they going to run into Lakeith's ex-girlfriend or is she like, is, is she not going to show? Or are they not going to get together? Like, I know they're going to get together, but like what, what's going to happen? And I was mad at myself because I'm like, why as, why, why am I expecting this? Like, I shouldn't be expecting like for something crazy to go on when it's like, it's just a romance movie, bro. You know, and it made me think to the conditioning that I've been under to say, why is it that whenever I see these black people in a movie, it always has to be, oh, it has to be like this, or something crazy has to happen, or it has to be something funny, ha, yeah, it doesn't have to be like that. Like, it, it could truly just be a romance movie. And I think that a piece of that is because we've seen Lakeith and Issa in so many things where we've had to either laugh or like be like, oh, something wild about to happen, or like the Insecure, or the Atlanta, or like, sorry to bother you, or other things that we've seen them in. We kind of expect that at this point, but I was mad at myself for expecting that to a degree and having to tell myself, bro, this is just a love story. Just chill out. Just chill out. Like, just enjoy the movie for what it is. Don't 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 put that much onus on it. Why are you putting that? Allow this movie its own autonomy to be able to be what it is, which is a love movie. And from that, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be fine. I like this movie. I thought that this movie was good. Um, I liked it a lot, man. I liked it a lot. I hope that the uh, the director, forgive me for not knowing her name right now. I believe it's Stella. Uh, let me look it up real quick while I still got y'all on here. I'm so sorry that I'm forgetting this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
y'all gonna kill me. But I'm just trying to make this video with no cuts because I really want to go and get me something to eat real quick. Um, y'all just gonna bear with me while I scroll to find who, yeah, who, yeah. We about to find out who is the director of this movie. I'ma just go ahead and look it up on the website right now. Forgive me, brother. I'm so bad. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, I don't want the pop-up right now. Don't give me that pop-up website. Come on. Come on. I'm sorry. How was y'all? How's y'all day going so far, man? I hope y'all day is going uh, wonderful. I hope that it's absolutely amazing and astounding. Um... I hope that it's great. I hope that it's great. Uh, there we go. Writer, director, Stella McGee. Ah, I knew it was Stella, but I just didn't want to butcher the last name because I couldn't remember it. Um, Stella, I think that you did an amazing job. I'm looking forward to seeing more of the work in which you have coming. Obviously, uh, Will Packer, I think you did amazing producing this. Issa, I think you did a wonderful job producing this as well. And of course, I'm going to look for more things from everybody that was involved in this movie. Um, Stella, hey, if you're looking for another actor to be in something that you got coming on, please think of your boy because I'm out here getting in my bag. I'm going to be ready when you call my name, all right? Thank you all so much for watching this. Please let me know down below what you thought of the photograph movie, if you liked it, if you did not like it, um, if there was something in particular that uh, ticked you off or that... Well, y'all, uh, the phone died. No, it didn't die. It, it just got full, so I had to move some things around. Let me know down below what y'all thought about the movie. Uh, please put your comments down, as I would love to have this conversation about it and kind of unpack a lot of things that I just discussed with y'all. Um, make sure to hit the uh, description box to be able to follow your boy on social media, too. Um, and, yeah, I'll see y'all soon, man. Uh, stay blessed, stay favored. Always stay tailored. You got to drink, see it through. And I'm going to see you next time on my channel, man. Peace and love.